We're looking this week at an older function in Gmail that our clients have been asking about recently, how to clean up your inbox. Many of the clients that we train really want to clean up their inbox, but are deathly scared of the delete button in case an email might be needed again. It's a very common concern. And what we like to take a look at with them is the bulk archive function in Gmail. If you look at any email in your inbox, you will notice that it has a small tag on it that says inbox. That's all your inbox is, an area of your email application which displays emails tagged inbox. Accordingly, when you archive an email, you are not removing it from Gmail, you are simply removing the tag that instructs Gmail to show it in the inbox. At all times, you can find your email from the All Mail label. These are stored chronologically, and to help you recover an archived mail, the All Mail section of your inbox can be filtered. Firstly, you can move through the emails with the older, newer toggles, or you can use the search widgets to locate mails from a specific person within a certain time period or perhaps even mails that specifically have attachments. Alternatively, you can also use the search options to undertake a more detailed search. For those who like a more structured inbox, Gmail labels allows you to recover archived emails from a smaller selection of emails all under the same label. Now that you understand where your email goes when you archive it, let's see how you can quickly archive thousands of emails at speed. Firstly, we will look at a straightforward bulk archive. From your inbox, Click the arrow next to the Select All checkbox and choose All. A pop-up box advises you that you have selected 50 emails or conversations on this page. And if you have more than 50 emails in your inbox, Gmail will offer the opportunity to select all the mails or conversations in the inbox. In this example, I'm happy that all my emails are either no longer required or have been labelled for easy retrieval. So I'm happy to select all the emails and conversations within the inbox and now click the archive option. Gmail will present a confirmation pop-up, click OK to confirm and the inbox will empty. An undo button appears which allows you to quickly reverse the action if you have made a mistake. It's really that simple. But what if you don't want to simply archive everything in the inbox? Fear not, here are some tricks to archiving. Perhaps you have read all the important emails and left junk mails unread. If this is the case, you might wish to archive unread emails. Alternatively, perhaps your process is to dip into emails and leave unactioned emails unread. If so, you would archive read emails instead. Now, from the select menu, you can see an unread and read option. But upon selecting unread, note that the pop-up, which was allowing you to select all the conversations in our previous example, does not appear. So, in this instance, you would actually only be archiving the unread emails in this group of 50 most recent emails. If you wish to clear the inbox beyond these most recent emails, you will need to find your read or unread emails in a different way. Starting in the advanced search box, from the very bottom filter, change the option all mail to unread mail. Now click search. Use the select all checkbox and you'll see that now a pop-up will appear which allows you to select all the conversations that match the search. Click the archive button and a pop-up will ask you to confirm. Once again, you have an undo button available post taking this action.
Perhaps you have 20 to 30 emails at the top of your inbox that you wish to keep safe and have decided to archive everything else beyond this. It's possible to quickly move these emails to a safe place, then complete a bulk archive and move the emails back to the inbox. This can be achieved using labels. Let's take a look. Firstly, select the emails you wish to keep in the inbox post archive. I am going to select the most recent 50 emails using the Select All checkbox. Now I'm going to use the Move To function to temporarily move these emails out of the inbox. Move will add a new label to the emails and remove the inbox label, effectively archiving them, but we will return them to the inbox presently. Now, for the purposes of this cleanup, I'm creating a new label to move the emails to. Click Create, and you will see these emails drop out of the inbox, and we can see the new label has appeared here on our label list. Now, we can safely bulk archive all the email in the inbox. Check the Select All checkbox, select all conversations in the inbox from the pop-up, click Archive, and Confirm. Now to return the set aside emails. Firstly, find your newly created label. Select all the emails and click the Move To function. Scrolling to the bottom of the drop down, select Inbox. Once complete, I would advise accessing the label icon and removing the holding label from the email. This helps you to be able to keep your labels to a minimum. Now you can see there are only the reserved 50 emails in there for you. The last option that we have here is something I often recommend for users who are fearful of archiving old emails. I would ask them essentially to pick a date, perhaps six months back, and archive from there. Emails over six months are rarely needed again. The conversation, the project, the event has usually moved on significantly or changed. Let's look at archiving from before a specific date. Within the inbox, it is possible to navigate to older emails using the older, newer toggle. These display in groups of 50, and we can use the Select All checkbox to select the 50 displayed, or all the emails in the inbox. But there's no option to select from this conversation and all older within this inbox interface. To have this level of specificity, we need to use the search function to locate, select, and archive these mails. Using the search box, we can combine the in search operator to look for emails that are in the inbox and the before search operator to specify emails before our chosen date. Our search shows emails with a received date of June 2023 or earlier, and we can use the Select All checkbox to select the first 50 emails. Now we do see a pop-up which offers the option to select all conversations that match the combined search criteria we have added. Selecting this, we can choose to archive and confirm and we can see that 186 emails have been successfully archived from the inbox. Get in charge of your inbox today using one of these methods to clear out the old email and start with a fresh new inbox. You can either archive everything, archive read or unread emails, set your important mails to the side, or archive from a specific date. So, until next week, see you then.